Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. We have the Super Pinto on the operating table. Now, you know I got to studying these pictures. And uh, this, this here plane right here. And there is a Pinto and there is a Super Pinto. Okay, the Pinto was the original thing, had a tiny old motor in it. And it was way underpowered. And we ain't making a, a Pinto, we're making a Super Pinto. And the only difference is, bam, this ring. Me and Butch laid this up, man. This is some, this is just two layers of carbon, but it's this high temperature resin he had. This thing will take big degrees. I'm not sure exactly how many. Butch might tell you in the comment, but bam, there we have a Super Pinto. Because main reason this opening ain't big enough. Bam! Oh yeah, we got the P200 in there, baby. <laughs> that little hole ain't big enough. <laughs> now, <clears throat> I got a pipe, okay? Well, I loaned it to my buddy Pete. I made him that little start stand. I had to call him today to Pete. <laughs> I have a pipe I could cut. It would be perfect for this. And it'll work great. I was thinking about backing the turbine up. But that just puts, that puts this right next to all this wood and stuff, man. And that's just, this is glowing red hot. And uh, it needs air going around it. Move it forward on the CG, you know, closer to the CG. Uh, I got the perfect pipe for it. And, but we got to make this opening bigger. And me and Butch got to looking at them pictures and them things, sure enough, got a bigger exhaust stream. So what I'm going to do, is I got this all cut and fit and ready to go. I like this jet. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this thing. I just like it. You know what I mean? Kind of ugly. Mainly, man, this thing's gonna. You know, and I'm even. I'm not even gonna put the gear doors on it. <laughs> I just wanted to go have fun and fly it, man. Just fly it all day long. And. Uh, not out for no speed demon or keep up with the ultra bandits. Really, I want the P200 for vertical. You know, not that I'm going to fly around 250 mile an hour, you know, and overdo the airframe. I want it for when I pull up. I can go to full power, baby. And that you don't even, it won't even slow down. Okay, now what we got to do is put that on there. Now what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to glue it on the top one and uh, you know trim this one but leave it a little long and I'll just tuck it right inside the ring and I'll blast it into this part. Well, I'm thinking I'm even going to leave it carbon. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I had to get caught up on all my big brothers I record them all. <laughs> what a season. Okay. Bam! Super Pinto. Pinto, Super Pinto. Pinto, Super Pinto. <laughs> See how easy that is? And I'm making the... Back to the airplane fatter for... My nozzle. I mean, to make this airplane scale with the super, like with the Pinto, it would take like just like a 20-pound turbine. I mean, it was a dog. It's 
first pinto was a dog. Now they got big old motors in them. There's a lot of them still flying, guys. And they got big old motors in them, man. And they do very well. Okay. Bam, that looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim it back a little bit. Best way to get pension marks so. on. Best way to get pension marks off the primer. You guys watching? Well, I think it's been a long time since I actually made like a, a building video. Oh, it's been talking. Right Time machine's almost done. <laughs> it takes it. Man, what a big old monstrosity. Maybe someday I'll tell you guys what that really is. I mean, I'll tell you about the time machine. <laughs> Remember my theory on time travel. All right. Then help. You don't have to build a machine, you have to build a receiving device. So people in the future who have the time machine will have a place to come. And you can use their time machine. Bam, that looks better. That looks better. Say we don't want to lose that. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and pipe it to it, cut her off. Oh, then I need to show you guys the gear. I got a gym done too. Maybe we have a what? 
a Super Pinto.